Alright, hey there, it's Ed Vargas, and today uh, I want to talk a bit about how to upgrade to 3.1 if you uh, want to upgrade from a current RetroPie image. And there are main, mainly two ways to do it, so I'm going to show you both of those ways. Um, so, first, you can go into SambaShare, so backspace, backspace, RetroPie, and this is way to back up the configs that you have so you can back up your ROM so you just copy all the ROMs over from your folders into uh, a folder on your desktop or something and the same with your BIOS files any configs which is uh, your RetroArch configs so if you haven't done any extra configurations for your RetroArch controllers um, you probably don't really need to worry about this but if you want to back it up you can and then also there's one more thing, if you've got game lists and uh, images that you have scraped and you want to back those up as well, you're going to want to use something like Win WinSCP. So you go to WinSCP and uh, log in and I want to go into a RetroPie or HomePie and .emulation station, the hidden folder. And then you're going to want to back up this game list folder. And those are the main things that you should back up uh, if you want to keep all of your configs and whatnot if you're upgrading to a fresh SD image for Raspberry 3.1 and then you can just copy them all back over onto your Raspberry Pi. Um, the other method is to do a full SD image backup and so you're going to use WinSCP for that. So you right click on Win32 Disk Imager, sorry you're going to use Win32 Disk Imager uh, run as an administrator and you'll open up to where you want to save your image so we're going to call this one backup.img and you want to make sure that your micro SD card is plugged into your card reader onto your laptop so click open and then there it is and so instead of pressing write like you did with the the last time when you're writing the image you're going to want to click read and it will back up your full SD card. So if you've got a 64 gigabyte SD card, it's going to create a 64 gigabyte file. So if you don't want a backup that large, then it might be easier for you guys just to back up the data from the RetroPie on the shares. And personally, that's the way I prefer to do it because I like starting with a fresh image because then there's no conflicts. Um, but those are two simple ways that you can back up your stuff before you do an update for RetroPie 3.1. And so, and I explained in my last video how to update or install RetroPie 3.1. And so I'm going to show you some of the new features with RetroPie 3.1. And I apologize, my last video was kind of rubbish with the uh, the camera on my television screen. So I'm going to do it from my computer this time. So we'll go into Emulation Station. And you can see it's got a fancy new theme, which Rukovic did, which is great. And there are three main configuration things that are different that I think are really useful for RetroPie 3.1 and the uh, first one is going to be configuring uh, splash screens so you can add your own custom splash screens so if you select that one it'll open up into um, I'm going to go into it through the setup script just so it looks better than trying to record my screen um, so configure splash screens and then as soon as you open up the splash screens thing at least once there it is alright so it should show up on some shares it might not show up until you exit out of it at least once I don't know but on WinSCP it will show up and in the splash screens folder you can want to create and if you look at the readme you want to create its own folder so you right click or create a new folder there and we'll call this one video and then you can just add a video, so I don't know. Got some videos somewhere. Typically I prefer to use .mp4. So once that's added in there, you select the video folder, and then now when it boots up it's gonna do a video. And we change the video settings so that it automatically will um, it will automatically play all the way through before emulation station cuts it off um, it won't cut it off it'll just play through um, but if you want to change that configuration 
you can change that and I made a wiki page on it to show which things you need to edit in order to let emulation station cut the video off if you want a seamless boot sequence so under custom splash screens and I'll put the links below to all these wiki pages um, so there's notes on video splash screens here and an etc profile .d um, emulation station .sh you've got this line of code and so if you don't want your video playing all the way through you'd rather have emulation station cut it off so you don't have that random gap uh, between your video ending and emulation station loading you're going to want to remove this line here and then um, that will let it load seamlessly but you've got to make sure it's timed just right otherwise it'll cut into your video and you'll still have the audio in the background so just uh, just in case you're interested in that um, but you can also just put in splash screens, just regular images and whatnot in their own folders I still don't know why it's not showing up in my somber shares, it should so I don't know what the deal is with that, sorry um, anyway, so you do that and then cancel and then another thing that we added was self scraper which is really nice um, might have been, I think it's under experimental right now Scroll down. Yeah, Steven Cell Scraper. So it's going to take a bit to install it really quickly. And sorry, the screen's cut off a bit. It doesn't take very long. And so you can choose just to scrape one system or you can scrape all the systems. Uh, so we're going to just scrape all systems. I think I only have like one or two on there right now. It's a lot faster than going through emulation station scraper and it's a little more accurate I think so if we go back into WinSCP you can see in homepy.emulationstation there we go so it's under downloaded images so there's the SNES and so I have my image there and it shows up in my list um, so that's that and then also we added a couple new emulators for MAME and uh, Final Burn Alpha and the uh, for newer systems so they work a lot better they're more compatible with more games and there's a wiki page on how to create ROM sets that work for it um, and all of this stuff is on the wiki I made sure to update it there so that you can look at it if you're tired of my videos um, but yeah so the right MAME ROMs updating RetroPie, all this stuff is here and then there's one more thing that we added so I think that we oh yeah, theme installer um, so you can add new themes if you want to through the setup script now which is really convenient so if we go under setup and then install themes for emulation station themes for emulation station, total for total pie Alright, so it's installed, it's really quick. And then if we go back into Emulation Station and you press the Start button to open up the menu, and then go into User Interface Settings, and then scroll down to the bottom, and then you're going to want to switch it to the new thing you just installed. So I just installed the Total Pi, and then press B to go back. It might take a bit to load, and sometimes it might be white while it's trying to render, so you might have to press F4 to refresh emulation station in order for the theme to work. But yeah, so now the new theme is there, and it was really quick and painless. So I, I don't know, I really like that feature, and so maybe that'd be useful to you if you don't like the new default carbon. You can always go back to the simple theme, or a theme that you like better. And the Total Pi theme is good too, because it doesn't have the white screen issues as well, because it's got the static background like the carbon theme does. So if you've got a lot of systems, the Total Pi is another option to use. Um, that OmniJar worked on. So um, those are the three main things that came up with RetroPie uh, 3.1. The, a lot of it's just user interface type stuff, but there's some nice new emulators and stuff on the back end as well that have been improved. So just check it out. Um, if it's worth it to you to upgrade, back up your stuff first and, and try, out, try it out and see, uh, see how you like it. And if you don't like it, you can always go back to where you were. So uh, enjoy.